Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Ippy, um, we, you know, the, the Marcel and Brian side of things, we laid off Ippy and Nario this week uh, for uh, budgetary reasons. Uh, we just cannot afford their salaries for the uh, rest of this month. So, uh, Gina and Tatai have um, kept Ippy busy. What are you doing there, Ippy? Cleaning? To hope. To hope? Um, Ippy's been doing a lot of stuff today, but right now they're uh, transferring rice hulls into Peppa and her Peppa and her kids pen here, and they love it. <laughs> They love something to play around. They play around in it. There's interesting smells in there. They're eating some of it. And we brought down a bunch of the stalks from the corn that we husked. Uh, I guess husks. Husks from the husked corn. And that was a big hit. I... You know, I've been doing a little bit of, of soul searching for the last, I don't know, week or ten days. Two weeks. Since these piglets were born. And, you know, look, I, for uh, reasons of being a sissy, basically, uh, in my old age, I, I, did not want to, uh, in any way, shape, or form, ever get back into uh, raising pigs for slaughter. Uh, but you have to be, you have to be practical. Um, you know, I can't say that my whole life I've been doing things that I didn't want to do, uh, not on a constant basis anyway. But yeah, there's been there's been times in my life when I did things that I. Uh, I would rather have been doing something else, but uh, you got kids to raise, bills to pay, blah, 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 so you do what you got to do. And kind of in that same situation now, you got kids to raise and bills to pay, and you know, I haven't really even talked to Marcel about it. Marcel had said something today about... Um, buying four of these piglets from Gina and Tatai and raising them up to Lichon size and then selling them. Um, I was just talking with Tatai and and thinking about, you know, these are these are good looking little pigs. Really good looking little pigs. Um, I haven't talked to Marcel about it, but I'm getting more and more open to the idea of, you know, not having anything like the piggery that we had before. Uh, 50 sows was, you know, uh, it cost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pesos, millions, uh, when you figure in the cost of the uh, piggery itself. Uh, millions of pesos we lost on that piggery. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm not willing to take that kind of a risk again, mainly because uh, we don't have the money. But, you know, for personal consumption and maybe selling one once in a while, uh, I'm going to talk to Marcel about maybe saving two of these little gilts to these little females and saving them for sows. Um, just to. Just because, you know, we just came back from the store today. We were buying the final few little things for Charlie's birthday party. And 
the cost of food now is just getting stupid. I mean, it's just getting stupid. Uh, it seems like something that we put in the cart, it, and, it, and it changes every, you know, it changes every time. But it's been the norm for like the last six months since the typhoon. It's been the norm that something that goes into the cart has suddenly doubled in price. And today it was crackers. Because, you know, we, 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 uh, we live cheaply. And I usually eat a, a uh, ramen, you know, I'd call it ramen noodles. They don't have that brand here, I don't think. But I eat one of those, you know, cheap little 18 peso uh, instant noodle, you know, like a ramen noodle. I eat one of those with uh, some crackers and maybe a little peanut butter if we had it, have it. And that's, uh, you know, like every other day, that's one of my meals. And so uh, the cracker supply was running low, so we bought a box of Sky Flakes. And instead of the normal, you know, 130 pesos, uh, that box of Sky Flakes was 260. It had exactly doubled in price since the time, since the last time we bought one, maybe six weeks ago. And if, you know, in the time before that, it was the cooking oil. Uh, the palm oil has doubled in price since the time we bought it before. The price of gas goes up every day here almost. We're at 89 pesos a liter now. Um, and, it, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another. Food is just getting stupid expensive. And I know it's not just for us, it's for everyone. And, you know, we're kind of in the lane of, you know, why not be as, as self-sufficient as we can? And while I would come slaughter time, I most definitely, even for sale time, uh, I most definitely will not be around because um, I, I just can't take it anymore. Uh, screaming pigs just is heart-wrenching for me. Um, but, you know, you have to be practical in life. And a penny saved is a penny earned. And we can raise pork much cheaper than we can buy it. Pork was another thing. Um, I don't know if it's because of the packaging change. They, in Alturas now, everything is in a package. Um, instead of just open bins of meat that you reach in and get with tongs and then put it in a bag. Uh, everything is bagged now. But it seems like along with that bagging was about a 40 or 50 percent price increase. Uh, over and above the price increases from before. I mean, any kind of pork is close to uh, 400 pesos a kilo now. Uh, it's just the price of food is just getting so prohibitive that uh, if we, if we want to eat it, we're going to have to raise it. I'm, I'm even looking at raising some uh, chickens again because chicken in the store now is 250 pesos a kilo which is a, over five dollars a pound for chicken um, and I know that while the feed has gone up maybe 10 percent uh, we would still be saving 80 or 90 pesos a kilo just from raising it ourselves raising chickens ourselves, the meat chickens. Um, you know, we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to do what we gotta do here. And, um, you know, the chickens that we've got now were just for eggs uh, because, you know, I like, a, I like an egg tossed in with my uh, ramen noodles. That makes it taste more better. A little extra pepper, an egg thrown in the boiling water for a few minutes. Ah, it's, it's, all, it's, you know, it's good stuff. So uh, while we've got eggs from the chickens we have now, um, the price of chicken is is expensive. So I haven't talked to Marcel about raising uh, some broilers either, but I'm thinking 
you know, maybe we could uh, cheaply uh, redo like this, like this old breeding pit right here. Uh, some way, either, you know, either fix one of these old fattening pins into a chicken coop or partition that and um, put some broilers in there. Probably partitioning that would be the would be the best move. But I don't know. Uh, it has been our focus here, my focus in particular, uh, for the last year to make this farm uh, as profitable and or self-sufficient as possible. And um, we've made we've made big strides with the fish uh, and the vegetables, and I think that we're it's only going to get more better with the fish and the vegetables. But you know, even though we're doing much much better than we were before, we're still losing ground to inflation. Um, <laughs> We're still losing ground, so we need to keep exploring options on how to make more, how to either save more or make more. And I think some of some pigs and chickens, you know, it's just uh, we got to do it. I've got to I've got to harden my heart a little bit and uh, make it happen. So those are those are some things in the in the works. You guys have a front row seat, and uh, you'll see it as it happens. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.